May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I do want to really greet everybody tonight and all of you who are on, online watching, and especially those young people who are here for the first time to receive the Holy Communion. Uh, it's such a special night for you. It's the beginning of a relationship that the Lord has established with you. I was, I was at the 1215 service and heard Pastor Kevin preach his sermon. I'm not going to try to remember it, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to talk to you from my heart. And uh, especially you young people, First Communion. I remember when my parents took me and I received First Communion on that Monday, Thursday. It was a special time. And over the years, I have thought about that. And I have always said, it is the closest you're going to be to Jesus until you're in heaven, is when you receive the Holy Sacrament. We, Martin Luther, liked to describe it as with and under the bread and the wine, you receive the body and the blood of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and the strengthening of your faith. And it's when you, don't, when, when you have those doubts and when you're really struggling with life itself, it's the time to come and receive that strength and walk out of here knowing that Jesus is in you. And uh, that has always struck me and ever since I took my first communion. It just... But tonight I do want to talk about the Monday Thursday. It was a time that Jesus realized he was alone. He had to do it himself. And, and you could see that all the way, way. He explained it to his disciples so how many times? I think four times. Matthew's good exp in his readings tonight. That he must suffer and die and rise again. But they didn't get it. It kind of went right over their heads. He was alone. A woman done it, did a beautiful thing, and anointed him with perfume, and disciples scolded her. Oh, give, give the, sell it and give it to the poor. How dare you waste that way? And he looked at the disciples and he said, don't you realize she's anointing me for death? And then there was that disciple. 30 pieces of silver. One of you are going to betray me, he said. Judas said, not I. And Jesus looked at him. I think Jesus really, on this Monday, Thursday really got a concern. How can my people, the disciples, you and me, always know I'm with them? So as when they sit down for the Passover meal, he took some bread. He broke it. He gave it to him saying, take, eat. This is my body given for you. At the end of the supper, he took a cup of wine. He blessed it. And he said, this is a new covenant. Take drink for the forgiveness of your sins. And we've been doing that ever since. He felt very much alone. It was only, what, five days ago they were yelling, Hosanna the highest, blessed is the king, Hosanna. No wonder on the cross he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I think tonight we can be reassured as you receive the Holy Sacrament or as you hear his words, your sins are forgiven. 
You are not alone. I know what it's like to be alone. I had to do it alone. I had to die on the cross for you and for me. He must have been unbelievable thinking in his mind and heart. Can you imagine taking three of your top disciples and say, hey, come on, I got to pray about this. And then every time, three times he came back, they were sleeping. And that's when he said, Father, is, if there's is another way to do this, can we work it out? And then he got, then it, uh-oh, you know, with the aha feelings. All at once he got that aha feeling. Not my will, Father, but yours be done. And he went to the cross for you and for me. But tonight we remember he's with us in this holy sacrament that he has made. It's good. It is good to remember. Remember your first communion. Then remember all those communions after that. Wow. That's the way the Lord set it up, and that's the way we do it. Will you pray with me? Father, thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the Holy Sacrament tonight. It was your idea of giving, to, giving yourself to us. Lord, we do also pray for our world. We ask that there be peace in this world, that evil be put down, and that your goodness be lifted up. We pray for our families who will be celebrating Easter. May they all have a good celebration, and especially bring healing to those who are ill, who are those who don't feel good. Lord, we ask this in the name of Jesus. This is the prayer of our heart tonight. We pray it, and all God's people said, Amen. And now if you would stand and pray with me the prayer Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the night he was betrayed, he took bread, he broke it, he blessed it, and he gave it to them saying, take eat. This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, and after, at the end of the supper, he, he took a cup of wine. He blessed it and he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. This cup is a new testament of my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Do this in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you.